Be me, 5th edition homebrew, BDM for once. Have a party, le rogue, le sorceress, le barbarian, and le ranger. See distinct lack of tank and healer. See overwhelming squishiness in test sessions before plot and before characters have any strength. Decide to introduce DM player character that I can phase out as plot progresses and characters are less squishy. Or one of them fucking dies and re-rolls. Decide to put a twist on an age-old story. Party is following up on a bounty to clear out local orc camp. Rogue, due to perception, picked up on a rumour. Last saw that volunteers never came back. Damn shame. Figure it might be a rescue mission, an obvious plot hook. And these players love a good story as much as I do. Party makes decent progress into stronghold and into blood pit sort of arena. Sitting in a cage is a younger man I described as Girl de Rivia if he had been born in a kind world. Not a rugged hunter, but just as bright-eyed, pale-haired, noble-looking dude in chainmail sitting in prayer. Meet Werner. Party is surrounded in blood pit. Chieftain comes out to gloat, prep for slaughter. Pretty boy calls out from the cage. I challenge you, Chieftain. Proper characters, introduction time. I will stand with these four against you and your choice of champions for honour and power. Figure it is a good way to learn to operate as a team. And so the chieftain and his two lieutenants open the cage and square off against the party with their new paladin buddy. Barbarian and ranger steal a show with some rule of kill crits and Werner makes his killing blow against the chieftain. Be oath of vengeance. Party gets the litten. Werner declares, your chieftain and his lieutenants lie dead by our hands. You are to leave these lands. But should you seek to reclaim glory, march west. The Shieldbreakers tribe awaits you in the shadows of Mount Cursed. To party, drops all stern-faced nobility and goes into full-on grateful glee. Bless you. Bless each and every one of you. I can only hold that sort of bravado for so long. All of you have my deepest gratitude, and an exile though I may be. I owe you all at the very least a good drink and food before you collect your justly earned reward. Forward to the tavern where the party collects their bounty, and they're brought food and drink. They can practically see the quest giver icon above Werner and give the proper backstory. I was the only son of my family. We held a modest kingdom to the west. I blame myself for being too trusting, and we were betrayed. The family of the lower court rose up in a bloody purge. In shame, I ran. I have been working to find allies, build power, to reclaim my homeland. But I am no fool. The coffers of my kingdom are denied to me, and I would never ask adventurers to fight for the promise of coin alone. They pass every insight check to see if he is completely earnest and grateful noble, and so start the main quest and start to notice a few things throughout campaigning. Werner speaks most of the beast tribe's language fluently. Orcish, kobolds, goblins and so on. He is a blushing schoolboy around the infernally bloodline sorceress he seems to reciprocate. He is a dutiful tank healer, but damn if his spells aren't particularly offensive. Makes a habit out of trying to gain control of tribes and groups rather than outright murder. Reveal as they approach the outskirts of his kingdom's territory a few months later that he has been at work for a few years doing that. Made much easier having new and true friends at his side. The bestial army is awaiting their war chief south of the border. Has some nice dark and plate armour and adorns a wicked looking helmet. I gained the alliance of these tribes by honouring their traditions and if it's their tradition for the one who gathered the army to wear this helmet I shall not disrespect them in such a manner. Party realises they're going to storm a kingdom with a dark plate of paladin of vengeance who had an orcish army at his side with the intent of seizing the throne. Rogue finally asks, wait, are we the baddies? Insight again reveals that Werner sees him as his best friends from the bottom of his heart. My friends, I know the thought of war is terrible, but with luck it should be done quickly. You've helped me get this far. Will you stand with me still? Party deliberate. He's been nothing but good to them. Plus, he is a general bro and has been keeping the orcs and such from pillaging villages. Ranger says the damning things. It's just one kingdom. Cue a siege. Cue an infiltration throughout the city streets. Cue storming the castle. Q execution of traitor families. Establish Werner as Emperor Werner Cursed von Dietrich the Returned. Embrace party as noble heroes who restored him to the throne. Set to work integrating all of those beast tribes into the populace. Set about building kingdom up as new multicultural centre of civilization. London. <laughs> Permanent invitation to party to consider the grand keep home between their adventurers as Warner's responsibilities will keep him largely regulated to the throne for some time. So Party has new home base, and is strong enough to go solo, but Warner always has jobs for them in the name of security and safety, and always pays more than fairly. He fucking loves those guys. So Party Adventures, 
and notices things each time they come back. First time they returned, many red banners were draped around the keep and city with a crest of scales weighing a fanged skull and human skull in equal balance. It's a symbol of our new civilization of equality and understanding. Next time, there is a construction of a large black spire in the centre of the city. The tribal warlocks and I have been in discussion, and we have found a way to channel the sun's very energy into nearly free energy and power for the people. It turns out the colour black absorbs the heat better, and so while a bit garish, it will improve the quality of life for everyone here immensely. Rogue starts getting uncomfortable. Next visit, tar is complete. Ominous red banners flickering in the wind. Banners popping up in villages further and further out. It is my duty of emperor to make sure that all within my borders are safe and secure. I shall not be one of those reclusive, self-absorbed leaders who would let his people suffer, no matter how far away they might be. True enough, banditry and shit is in its all-time low. But Werner is now wearing black and red finery and some grim imagery and has large portraits being spread in every village so that my people never have to fear that they've been forgotten or neglected. Insight rolls and he still super means it. Main threat is the dragonborn up in the mountains, which he hopes his dearest companions will be able to handle. Ranger is uncomfortable. But I would never send you into any sort of danger unprepared. As such, I had our artisans and smiths craft for each of you to enhance arms and armour. Ranger is no longer uncomfortable. Go full Wizard of Oz. To Barbarian. For you, my mighty friend. I have had commissioned an axe that shall transfer the strength of your foes onto your person. I know your range is one of your mightiest weapons. As such, I would see that your enemies fall long before you ever will. Toss in some spiked light armour as well. To Rogue. You, old chum, are the cleverest, slyest, most true gentleman I have ever had the pleasure of fighting alongside. For you, I have my warlocks pluck the essence of shadows and fold it into the dark cloak that daggers shan't find you. If you were ever hurt, I do not know what I would do with myself. Sure makes him look like a horror when activating the effect, but damn it's nice. To the ranger, my friend, your bond with nature I am sure would put many a druid to shame. Never has there been a more fierce huntress or a keener eye, and thus only the bow made of dragon bone and black powder arrows is worthy of you. Ranger is not sure whether to be uncomfortable. To the sorceress, trying not to blush. And you, my dear, it may not be a secret that I am loath to see you go every time, but I know in you there is an adventurous spirit that I cannot be tamed, and so I count my blessings every time you return here. For you I bequeath a family heirloom, so that your power never ceases to grow, an amulet of some wonder. I pray that it keeps you safe till you return to me. Give her an amulet that lets her convert the soul of a fallen enemy into an equal level spell slot. One enemy for a first level, two enemy for second, etc. With a degeneration rate of one soul per week. Alternatively, eight souls could be two fourth level slots. Not that I'm encouraging my party to be murderous hobos, but sorceress is super duper comfortable. The next adventure they return from, there were small spires and villages popping up. The luxuries of the capital should not be restricted to the capital. That, and we are working on setting up a portal network through each of these spires. That way, no village, no town, nor city shall ever go unprotected. Ranger says, hey, it's still just one country? <laughs> Decide to see how far I can push this. Send a summons to my champions. Be distraught Emperor Werner. Be hunched over map of empire and surrounding kingdoms and territories. Year or two passes in game. My friends, truly the crown has never weighed so heavily. My people are happy and flourishing. Our cities are expanding. The tribes continue to learn to join civilization. But therein lies a problem. Resources are beginning to run thin. I have sent envoys and invited foreign dignitaries to open trade. But all are loath to deal with us, due to what I can only consider to be specticism that flies in the face of all rationality and civility. And yet, I have a duty to my people. I see that we have a higher standard of living than all of our neighbours, and they stockpile resources that we could share and all profit from. Ranger and Rogue start getting uncomfortable. Start pacing around map. Cape trailing, arms folded, skull themed crown, and new addition to honour the new traditions. I have purchased the acquisition of copies of ledgers, and I know there is more than enough for everyone if they would only trade, and yet I refuse to let my people down. So I ask you, my friends who I trust as family, which of my neighbours should I spread to reach first? Party deliberates. The rogue. Rogue. Warner, what if we tried to stop you? Me ruling a natural one on insight. Be wide-eyed and shocked and hurt. Why? I'd be devastated, completely and utterly heartbroken. After all we've been through, I adore you all as kin. Oh, 
Oh, you can. <laughs> you sly little. I see what you did there. That's such a ludicrous idea. You have a roundabout way of trying to boost my spirits, my friend. But it worked. Gods, I am lucky to have been saved by you all. The party is half guilted, half bribed into leading an invasion force. Not the first or last time. By near end of camping, the Emperor had spread over half the continent, black spires rising in every major trade hub, allowing Imperial forces quick access to any potential threat, while also pushing every new conquest into Magitek high fantasy. Party getting repetition as the overlords chosen, keep showering them in appropriate high end but super fucking menacing gear, and rewarding them for their quests and loyalty. Follow the evil overlord checklist to the letter. Party getting up near level 20, have them allying with putting down dragons so that we might benefit from their wisdom and never risk those that would seek chaos or not else barbarian is my field war chief and loving it rogue is less spy master and more the black hand of the emperor and best stabby friend <laughs> ranger is the mistress of the hunt helps find any criminals or foreign insurgents or any corrupt leaders who might give the emperor a bad name surprise surprise Insurgents are all fucking foreign. Warner fucking adores his subjects and his ultimate dad friend to his empire. Sorceress pretty much decided to be Mrs. Evil Overlord when she gets tired of the adventuring life. Also has gotten good at perma-charming any disloyal viceroys. Created new alignment. Friendly evil. All heal the big fucking friendly evil guy. So look guys, as you guys know, if you haven't already seen this one, this is a revamp of one of my older videos. I absolutely love this one. I love this story. I think it's one of my favourites. I think there's a good case to be made that maybe um, Werner isn't actually evil at all. Maybe he's just lawful in a weird sense. I don't know. It's a hard one to really comprehend. He's got a, he's definitely got a very specific, what would be the right word, aesthetic maybe? Yeah, that's the right word, aesthetic. I'm going to go with that. But look, uh, as always, I hope you guys really enjoyed this story. And at the moment, at the time of recording this, um, I've applied for monetization. I currently have, okay, so you need, for monetization, you need 1,000 subs and you need 4,000 hours of watch time. At the minute, I've got, I added it up and I've got over 300 years of watch time in the past year in this channel. So uh, we'll see how things go. I really, really hope that... I don't have to delete all my old videos because there is a chance I may have to delete all my old text speech videos but like I'm working on an archive channel at the minute anyway so if that has to be the case I'll let you guys know about the archive channel the videos will still be available just not on this channel sadly and it's gonna kill me doing it you know oh how can you delete videos like that you know having to go back and delete all the Shadowlon and all Paladin Party and you know there's so many great stories that I really enjoy but like <clears throat> I've gambled enough Um, as you guys know I'm not monetized here so like definitely please go over to Neck uh, sorry not Neck Beard yet. sorry go over to Thread Thrash for my second channel I'm still monetized there um, as well um, NordVPN's a thing I've got a game advertisement thing going I've got um the models you know, anything would help, <laughs> be honest with you. So, like, as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've rambled enough, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.